How's it going guys? This is Wowbagger bringing you a review of the proximity repair defense slot for the Sunder. I'm going to be showing some gameplay in the background while I give you some statistics and general tips and tricks on how to use it. Let's start off with what exactly the repair Sunday does. It repairs all allied vehicles around the Sunder within a 30 meter radius, with increasing rates depending on what level it is between 1 and 6. At max rank, it is even possible to out-repair heavies with rocket launchers. Some quick upsides for the Repair Sunder are its ability to support tank pushes, the absurd amount of certs you will be getting, its ability to spawn infantry after you've finished your push, and with the loadout I use, I am pretty much anti-everything, air, ground, and anti-tank. And now for some downsides. The first one you'll run into and probably the biggest problem with the Repair Sunday is its very high cert cost. It costs a total of around 2000 to max out. And on top of that, you're losing the bonuses in defense you'll get from blockade armor. And you are also not an ammo Sunday, so while you're able to support the push and keep the tanks alive, it doesn't help much when they're out of ammunition. The most important thing to remember about the Repair Sunder is that you are not a tank. You won't be able to kill full health and MBTs, and the Repair is meant for supporting tank pushes, and your playstyle should cater around that as well. For example, in this clip, I am pushing down a hill, but I also have all of these Prowlers out in front of me who are soaking up all of the damage, and I'm just outrepping basically everything the Vanguards and Phoenixes can throw back at me. Another top level tactic you'll see with Repair Sundays is the use of multiple Repair Sundays together. While the effects do not stack on top of multiple vehicles, the Repair Sundays also repair each other. So you will have to take out one at a time to even remotely be able to damage an armor column. This highlights the main weakness with a solo Repair Sunday. You are not able to repair yourself with the proximity repair. However, you can get out and repair with your repair tool while the Repair Sunday is repairing tanks. And you can even stack that, like a tank is taking an absurd amount of damage in front of you, you can get out of your Repair Sunday and start repairing it with your tool, and nothing will be able to touch that tank. I'm going to talk a bit about my own personal Sunday loadout. For utility, I just use Smoke 1, because it's really handy to be able to block lock-ons as well as give my Bulldog Thermal Gunner on front something to shoot at without being shot back. For defense, I obviously use proximity repair. It's so much fun. It really is. I don't know if these clips are highlighting it, but it's a really fun slot. And for chassis, I use Racer 3. It's really personal preference in that point. For weapons, I use a bulldog on front to give it a slightly better angle than in the rear with thermals so they can see through the smoke. It's kind of an off and on tactic because it takes about 60 seconds to recharge, but it's sometimes helpful. And I have a basilisk on back, which can be kind of controversial, but the basilisk really is an anti-everything weapon. I use it to take out air, armor, as well as infantry, and it gives me a slightly longer reach than the bulldog does up front. Alright, so I'm going to start throwing some clips at you that'll highlight some of the things I've been talking about. This shows how powerful the Sunday's offensive capabilities are against basically anything. I'm able to tickle that lightning to about half health and then almost get the kill on this reaver. And here's where the support and not being a tank thing comes into play. This vanguard shows up and I pop smoke and get out of there. I can't take a halberd AP vanguard and even then he was still almost able to kill me. So I back up, let these tanks get in front, and try and outrep him before he gets around the corner and finishes me off. And thankfully I think some of these NGs come help me out. And that vanguard's busy with a prowler who went past me. So as soon as I'm full health, I try and catch up, try and save the prowler, but he's already on fire. He kind of got his ass beat. All my gunners hopped out, so I flipped to the bulldog and take out the vanguard myself. So this next clip is going to highlight the absurd cert gain you'll be getting. I'm going to start repairing my Sunday that took damage, as well as squad repairing, and you can see the cert point bar filling up like nothing. I don't have a membership, I don't have a boost active. This is how to support your team and get paid well for it. This next clip coming up is me defending a teammate. My 
outfit member Monster Pickle ran down the hill and ran into an entire enemy armor column and some Lancers, it looks like. I get in the way, take some of the fire all the while while repping him. He hops out. I'm yelling at him in TS to back up before I get killed, and he does. He's able to safely make it around the tree, and I make it out of there too. I'm going to leave you all with one last clip that will show how popular you'll be as soon as you equip this. My outfit members are calling out where I am, and even a lib shows up to get on the fun. This was WowBagger. I will see you guys next time. Baggers. Oh, hi. There he is. Wait. There he is. <laughs> Nailed him. What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>